Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 20th of April 1965, workers began painting skylight windows at the Houston Astrodome in order to limit the glare from the sun. The covered stadium, the first of its kind, was built in order to avoid the need to cancel sports fixtures as a result of the hot, humid and therefore often rainy Texas summer. The stadium had cost nearly $32 million to build and the painting of the skylights added another $20,000 to the cost. The paint job had been made necessary due to glare from the windows affecting the vision of basketball outfielders. Painting the windows significantly improved the situation for the players, but in turn led to other problems for the Astrodome. Primarily, the up to 40% reduction in sunlight making its way inside the structure meant that all the specially bred Bermuda grass used for the field died. This was despite the owners originally believing that painting the windows might actually improve the growth of the grass, since it had been formulated to grow indoors. Left with no grass at all, however, they resorted to a second paint job in which they painted the dirt floor bright green, until they installed artificial turf the following year. That turf was called Chemgrass, a hardly inspiring name, and so following the successful use of it in the 1966 baseball season at the Astrodome, the company decided to rebrand it. And so AstroTurf was born, an artificial grass that got its name from an indoor sports stadium. <laughs>